Now, the island nation of Maldives has announced new restriction to battle its worst surge in virus cases. Joining us live is Steffi Dewan. Hello, Steffi. Hello, Alma. Good afternoon. Okay. Yes, Maldives has announced new restrictions as it battles its worst surge in COVID-19 cases, including expanding curfew hours in the capital and making permits compulsory to go out even during non-curfew hours. In a press conference by Health Emergency Operations Center, President's spokesperson Mabruk Aziz said new restrictions will take effect tomorrow, May 26, and according to him, people will require permits issued by the police to go out even during non-curfew hours. Each household will be issued two residential permits. One can be used to go out between 8 to 12 in the morning, while the other one can be used to go out between 12 to 4 in the afternoon. Each household will be issued only two residential permits to go out. Mabruk also said that uh, the permits are solely to access essential services only and cannot be used for travel between Male City and suburban Hulhumale unless under exceptional circumstances. Meanwhile, cafes and restaurants are banned from providing dine-in and takeaway services and can only open for delivery services. Businesses can be allowed to provide ser delivery services from 6 to 12 mid midnight. Mabruk also said that shopping during curfew hours and obtaining takeaway services during curfew hours will be punishable with an amount of 5,000 Maldivian rupiah fine or 320 US dollar. Maldives has now experiencing a surge in both infection rate and fatalities in recent weeks. This month of May has seen the highest number of COVID-19 fatalities in Maldives with 62 deaths. Meanwhile, the parliament also switched on to online sitting starting from tomorrow onwards. And this is due to increase of COVID-19 cases in the Maldives and most importantly to adhere to health protection agency guidelines. According to Parliament Communication Director Hassan Siyao, the arrangement to hold online sittings were now being made. The Parliament held online sittings from March 30 to May before switching back to physical sittings. The physical sittings were started in accordance with the new normal situation whereby strict preventive measures and safety steps were enforced in the parliament. The measures were later on relaxed before the current move on online settings. Maldives has now 55,924 confirmed cases, including 1,559 new cases recorded on Sunday. 32,322 patients have seen recovered, while 135 have died from complications. The country currently has... 23,464 active cases, while 290 of the patients are hospitalized. And that's my quick update from Maldives. Back to you, Alma. Thank you very much, Steffi, for your updates there. And uh, we'll wait for uh, more developments on the uh, pandemic situation around the world as well as in your uh, island nation. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Thank you so, thank you so much, Alma. Same to you. Stay safe. Reporting live from Maldives, this is Steffi Dihuan and we live in interesting times.